What's up guys, it's Cookie Junkie here bringing you another mod spotlight, tutorial and review on Mondu Chest, which is by Crastor, so thanks for this amazing mod. Now if you're like me and you go out and you mine all day and then you end up with an inventory full of crap and then you've got to organise it all and you just get sick of it and then end up dumping it in chests and never be able to find anything, then this mod will really benefit you. If you're doing this on like a creative server, there's there's not really much point to be honest it's really just for survival what it does is it allows you to organize all of your items into separate chests just by throwing them all in one chest so to do this you need a master chest which is what I've got here where you put all of your items into and slave chests which is where they all get sorted into so I'm gonna just quickly show you what happens I'll put these diamonds and these cookies into here and right click the sign and boom it says I've been shelved they're not in here anymore but they are dum 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 in these there's my cookies and there's my diamonds to assign what items you want to go into which slave chest all you need to do is put one item in there so I already had the diamond in there and I already had the cookie in here so that chest knew, oh the cookies must go with the cookies and the diamonds must go with the diamonds you can have multiple things in one chest so say in the cookie chest I had some bread as well I could have all the bread over there come here with the cookies and you can do that as well which is just really good so you could, this is useful if you want to do like cobblestone and like I don't know sand and whatever and gravel in one chest and then do like iron and stuff in another chest like iron diamonds any all really and yeah that works it works so good honestly it's such a simple plugin you don't need to use any commands to get it to work and by default it just it works straight off the bat you don't really need to adjust anything to get rid of them all you need to do is just delete the signs and boom you're done to do this all you need to do is start by making a master chest so get a sign put it one block next to the chest so it's got to be like here here or at the sides or you can do it underneath but you do need it to be visible as you have to click on it the slave chest you don't have to click on so you can just hide them away underneath square bracket and then put mondu and then chest square bracket no spaces make sure you keep the capitals in as I've done this before without doing that and it doesn't work so click done and oh no nothing's happened and you're probably thinking oh it doesn't work well it does all you need to do is get your hand right click on it and it'll say create a new mondo bank so to make the slave you're gonna put the sign again one block away from it but you can hide this one under underneath as you don't need to um, right click on it go here open square bracket mondu capital M again then slave with a capital S no spaces close square bracket click done again right click with your hand don't do it be stupid and like <laughs> have something in your hand when you do it like a sign as it does like that weird thing where it goes like that and you're like oh no but yeah so once you've um, done that it'll say added one chest to bank and that means that slave is now attached to this master chest so if I put a sign in here and then got one out I'll get a stack out of 16 I don't know they could do stack but whatever um, and right click that'll be gone and they'll all be in here and that's just how it works it's really really simple easy mod by default the radius that you can have these two chests apart is 150 blocks however you can change that in your config to whatever you want now the config is just amazing it's got all the stuff you need it's really simple I suggest go and have a look at it if you've got this mod because there'll be some stuff you'll probably want to change it comes with more than just these features though, as you do have chest protection, so if I did it and I was on with someone else, then they wouldn't be able to open or, like, break my chest. You can set that to true and false in the config as well, so, again, go have a look at that if you want to turn it off or on or whatever. 
You also have the ability to stack eggs and sands and anything else, that, uh, and snowballs to a stack of 64 when they're going to these slave chests. Go into your config and scroll down and it'll last for stack items or something like that. I can't, I can't remember off the top of my head. But you'll know what it is, it's really obvious and it does actually explain to you what it does. And that means it'll stack 64 so you can fit more like snowballs and stuff in the chest, which again really useful and I suggest going to have a look at that in the config file. At the minute it only works on chests. however in the future I would love to see it work with furnaces so when you put stuff in a furnace it automatically goes into a slave chest so that would mean you don't have to, when your iron's done it'd be in a chest so you could have the furnace in the mine, smell it at all you could go up to your house like up here and then all your iron would just be deposited in here or wherever which would be really, really useful. Now, the guy, uh, Castro, Castro, or, I'm sorry for getting your name wrong, is currently working on reloading dispensers, so that will be quite good. That is his like future thing that he's working on now. This is a very active mod, so I'm, I can't wait to see what comes about it. I hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. If you want to get Mondo Chest, go in the link in the description, which will take you to the Dev Bucket page where you can find the download. And you can also contact the developer Castro if you need any help with just setting it up or anything. Feel free to comment below as well if you do need any help because I'll try and help you as best I can. However, you know, I can only really know so much, so you're probably better off with the developer. If you like videos like this, please subscribe as I do them every week. And if you did, like this or again you have any questions please comment below have a nice day and i'll see you in the next video